my obedient family, my better people, I throw away salute. How are they? I beg, who will you offend for Nigeria? Who will you offend? Make we go beg the person. If the person don't cry, make we carry his ancestors. Make we carry drink. Make we act what they want. Make we go beg them. Because this embarrassment, this disgrace, both international, national, local disgrace, don't too much. They don't take up people. They say, ah, my people, when I know say, ah, no, wow. When I know I drop one video where one APC minister, Doctor say he, he finish uni, he enter uni and finish uni with um, two credits. That one better, he get credit and see at least he gets results. We know some people not get results, we not get classmates. This one now, come born at the CISO. He say he finish primary school at the age of three, as in one to three years. And in colleagues, somebody still get up for the house, they defend them. They tell us about one pastor. My people, hey, who do us? I go let you now watch the video. Anywhere, no blame them because not be the same place we did where first of Kimono can't tell us say why bat no get uh, no get certificate because say you no know, go school those olden days that there was no school so you no know, go school. But my old boy senior am my old boy go school. We know say those days the hand that they use you know before you enter school. In short, eh, I no just get anything. So I let you now watch this video because this thing just tire me. Who we offend? It, the embarrassment done too much. Waiting, miracle no the entire APC. Ex this one are extraordinary miracles, guys. I'm gonna let you now watch the video. I'm gonna snatch this video. Let me share it because not you will never see finish for this APC. Point of order, Mr. President. Point of order. Mr. President, point of order. Uh, Senator. I think so. <clears throat> My name is Senator Mukahil Ladito Kumwabiru, and I represent the good people of Lagos East. <clears throat> uh, professor, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, congratulate you on your nomination. And I also join my colleagues, too, um, in congratulating you as well. Now, um, my own question will be very simple, and it will have to do with your bio data. I just want clarifications around your bio data. Now, on the very first page, page one, you said um, you were born on the 2nd of December, 1980. Now, looking further down, um, you attended St. John's Primary School, Boko. Um, you just wrote 1989. I'm wondering whether you finished primary school at in 1989, which will suggest that you either started primary school at the age of three or two for you to finish in 1989. That's one. Two, you also claim that you went to um, SEPA secondary school. You put 1995. That will also suggest, so I don't know who the band, whether it was 19, I mean, 1989 to 1995. But what is also, um, what will appear a bit distorted for me, which I also need clarification for, is that given your um, academic excellence, you know, um, from you, you, you graduated in 2004, meaning that, you know, you probably will have spent almost nine years for your first degree. I just need you to clarify those data. I hope you understand, starting from primary school to why it took you that long to also get your first degree despite the academic brilliance that you have exhibited. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President and my um, distinguished colleagues. Thank you. In 1980, and you had your first school living certificate in 1989. That means that you, uh, at the period you should have been in nursery school, at the age of uh, uh, four years, you were already in primary one. You were already in primary school. Which, uh, which, uh, which uh, state was this? Well, let, let, let's, uh, let, let's, no, let's, uh, so the, the nominee was born in 1980. And the nominee graduated with first school living certificate in 1989. So the nominee is exceptionally brilliant. The, 
the, the nominee was three years old when he started his primary education. And he proceeded to do six years. He, pro he proceeded to do... The nominee started his uh, primary education at the age of three. And was able to finish six years later in 1989. And, and it's possible that the nominee was a classmate of uh, Senator Bamuro. So let's hear from Senator Bamuro whether he also started his own uh, primary school at the age of three. Our nominee from Benue State. You see, some people don't understand certain things. To clear air of you going into uh, finishing primary school or entering primary school at the age of three. Let me tell you a personal story. I sat for common entrance examination when I was in primary three, and I won because I was exceptionally brilliant. I passed. It's all the same. Winning and passing are all the same. So the question of you entering primary school at the age of three did not arise. But when did you finish? And at what level did you start for your common interest exam? You may be like me, exceptionally brilliant. <laughs> so, we have cleared that because you are on national television. I don't want people to go home thinking that your integrity is being called to question. You are a professor in this country and have done exceptionally well for the university to make you a professor. Now my question is this. Any country that continue to, to rely on rainfall, rainwater, to cultivate crops and to feed a booming population like Nigeria will have food crisis. When you talk of insecurity, the most dangerous insecurity is food insecurity. When there's no food, there will be insecurity. I, a hungry man is an angry man. If you look at Nigeria's land size, from number one to number 21, it's all states in northern Nigeria. Apart from Oyo, in number 14, with 20,454 square kilometers land size, and Cross River at number 19, with about 20,000 square kilometers, the entire from number one to number 21, northern Nigeria. Now there is desert encroachment. Rain is no longer full as it used to be because of human activities. How do you intend to create dams so that we will not continue to rely on rainwater and, and use the opportunity of this vast land size in the north to feed our booming population? Thank you so much. Yes, in, I, I went to primary school in the year 1984. The year 1989 was when I got my first living certificate. And the last listen is the years. Pardon? I started in 2000, 1984, 1984, 1985, 1986, 1987, 1988, pardon? 1984, 1985, 1986, 1987, 1988, and 1989. That was when I passed out with first school living certificate. Primary school. Then I'm talking about primary school. Then in, I, I further my secondary school in 1990. Yes, secondary school in 1990. 1990, 1991, 92, 93, 94, 95. That is when I got my SSCE. That is when I got my SSCE. Then in, I graduated in 2004. Yes, what happens that I, I, will, I was actually supposed to pass out in, in 2003, but there was a prolonged strike, if you people remember. There was a prolonged strike by ASU. Then I did, I did, I did a, a five-year program in engineering, which I was supposed to stay there for five years. But because of the prolonged strike, I spent six years for the program. That is why I graduated in 2004.